Hi, I'm Dr. Malescu. I have the cell models here. I'm going to be describing the cell cycle today, um, the stages specifically of mitosis. So interphase is not discussed in this particular video. I'm using the cell models to demonstrate the uh, cell division stage, which is called mitosis. So without further ado, let me show you the models um, so you're ready and prepared for your lab practical. Here we go. So model number one, take a good look here. This is early prophase. Here, seen in red, you're going to see the nucleolus. And this whole area here is called the nucleus. And you can see the chromatin is the genetic material, not yet condensed into a chromosome. So this is early, early prophase. You can see um, the centriole here with the spindles ready to form. Uh, the spindle formation allow for the movement of the chromosomes. So that's model one. Here's model number two. So with model number two, this is a uh, full prophase here where you could see the chromosome starting to condense. What happens is the nuclear envelope starts to break down. Uh, the chromatin condenses into what's called chromosomes. And here you could see that whole region uh, pulling out the spindles. So the centrioles, which are at 90 degrees to each other, those little fibers, um, are pulling out the spindles so that the chromosomes will be able to be moved uh, when they need to be moved, which is the next stage. All right, so prophase, what were the top three things that happen? Nuclear envelope breaks down, chromatin condenses to chromosome, um, and then the spindle starts to form. And so you could see here the formation of the spindle and uh, visibly the chromosomes. So this is model number three. And um, what can I say? The next thing is very easy to identify because the next stage is metaphase. The chromosomes go to the middle or the equator of the cell. Metaphase for middle, M for middle, the equator. So all the chromosomes line up at the center. So you can see here the spindles have pulled the chromosomes to the center. So therefore, this is a metaphase. Anna gets a divorce. So the chromosomes, when they separate, all right, that's how I remember anaphase. So anaphase, Anna gets a divorce. Anaphase is the separation of the chromosomes to opposite polar ends of the cell. So take a look over here. You can see the spindle right here, the spindles. Okay, the spindles are pulling the chromosomes away to opposite polar ends of the cell. This is anaphase. Easy to identify um, for your lab practical. Hopefully you'll remember. Okay, then we move on to model number six here. And if we turn it this way, you could see that little cleavage furrow. So um, right in here is the pinching in of the cell. So you know that this is... Um, telophase, um, and you can see the chromosomes are still on opposite polar ends, okay, and you can still see the spindle, but you see the cleavage furrow, so that gives you a hint that this is uh, early telophase. All right, by late telophase, the nuclear envelope reappears, the chromosomes decondense and become chromatin again, and you can see the spindle very easily here and you can also see the nuclear envelope forming around the chromosomes and the cell pinching in even further so this is mid to late telophase and you can see the chromosomes are going to uh, decondense um, and become chromatin all right so now we no longer have this is late telophase no longer have chromatin a chromosome we go to chromatin the nuclear envelope is reformed and this shows a visible barrier between one cell and the other. So you can see two separate cells. You see the membrane here. Okay, so it's two separate cells. So therefore, this is cytokinesis. Late telophase to this stage, which is cytokinesis. All right. Uh, so I would say if this was on the test, because there's no cell separation, this is quite late telophase. When you see complete cell separation, two equal daughter cells, 
All right, that is already, cytokinesis has taken place. All right, so that's that. Now I'm gonna go over um, cell structure and function. I know I did a previous uh, review on this. Uh, hopefully this video will be better because I can bring the cell model closer to you so you can see. All right, so step one, I'm gonna show you here. You see the red string here? This represents the chromatin. Um, right in here, you can see the nuclear pores. So the nuclear pores is for that messenger RNA to leave the nucleoplasm after transcribing the DNA in the process of making proteins, protein synthesis. That mRNA is going to be uh, hooking up with the ribosomes. You could see ribosomes here in polypeptide chains. The rough ER with the ribosomes, take a really nice close-up view. You could see the ribosomes all studying the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This is the site for protein synthesis. All right, and you can see rough ER throughout the cytoplasm, which is the space inside the cell, okay? Now, where's the smooth ER? Well, you can see the smooth ER is over here without any um, ribosomes. It's not studded with any ribosomes, okay? So that's that. Now, let me show you, um, here you can see the polypeptide chains and uh, protein synthesis taking place. Let me show you right here, you can see the mitochondria mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, so you're going to have mitochondria throughout the rest of the cell right here, here, here. Okay, so all of them, all right, are going to release ATP. That's where ATP production is um, completed inside the mitochondria. The infoldings are called cristae. I'm not sure if you can see that close, but the cristae, see that in white? Those are the cristae. All right, what else? Um, I can see here that this is the Golgi apparatus. And remember I showed you in lab a, a trick to not confuse the smooth ER, which is over here with the uh, rough ER versus here. And there's your polypeptide chains, the ribosome with amino acids. But this is very easy to identify because this is your Golgi apparatus. You see the Golgi vesicles moving away with the packaged proteins and ready for exocytosis, which um, requires ATP usage. Energy is used since the vesicle, the Golgi vesicle, attaches to the cell membrane. Cell membrane invaginates and then it releases. ATP is required to release the proteins for usage. Okay, so there's your Golgi apparatus, packaging and delivery of proteins. Where is it coming from? Translation, which is occurring in the cytoplasm. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is the site of protein synthesis. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the site of lipid synthesis, lipid metabolism, steroid synthesis, drug detoxification. So those are some of the things that the smooth ER does for you. All right, uh, let's see if I mentioned anything else that I forgot. Uh, lysosomes. Okay, so let's find the lysosomes. Lysosomes are the garbage disposal, as I mentioned in lab, because it's going to break down worn out cell parts. So that's the lysosome. And let's see what else. Number 14 over here, you can see these are just fat vacuoles. So they'll be represented in the cell models, either orange or yellow. And the brown here um, is represented as the uh, lysosomes, okay? Now, you don't see any uh, peroxisomes on the cell model, but um, to add to completion all the organelles, the purpose of the peroxisomes, they release peroxide, they uh, break down lysis of free radicals, um, and also detox. Um, you're going to find... Um, peroxisomes a lot in the kidney cells and the liver cells, uh, drug detox uh, and alcohol, ETOH. All right, so I think that's it for the cell model. If you have any questions, uh, see me either before lab or after lab. Have a great day. Bye.